Improve. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you part two of this 2v2 Super Turtle. And this is going to be called the impatient chieftain that wants his stars back. Oh, stars back? Hmm, did I spoil something? Well, when I left off, my chieftain, unfortunately... Well, let's see, maybe he will make it. No, I'm sorry he won't, on the count of that I'm a noob, and I just decide, you know, I'll just let my engineers sit there. It wouldn't have made much of a difference. I think at the time, I was just like, there's really no point. You know, there's nothing I can do. Uh, they would just take out all my engineers, so I was like, oh, whatever. So, yep, the three-star chieftain goes down, and that's such a sad moment in Super Turtling, let me tell you. You know, you can lose a Spartan, you can lose a Spartan tank, a Cobra, an Elephant, you know. Oh, you can rebuild those, it's fine, but the chieftain is just so sad. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I hate to be specious and all that, but, you know, the Covenant units are more obviously more important than the, you know, the UNSC units in a Super Turtle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um... Yeah, I, it's pretty sucky whenever you lose all your, uh, when you lose your covenant leader. But it's okay. I am going to get those stars back, damn it. And it's not going to be easy. So stay tuned and see how I do it. And it's kind of a shame. I, re I never recommend playing a super turtle when you, if you're impatient. I am kind of impatient. Like, if I'm sitting there for more than 30 minutes, I kind of want to see what they're doing. And I'll push up. And that's what happens in this game, basically. I just push up a little bit. I'd fight their whole army as my chieftain, then I'd go back, and then I'd bring them back to the Vulcan, and they would retreat. And the same shit would happen basically like an hour. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the Super Turtle. I can't believe I wanted to have some big news. Uh, the guy that really inspired me to do all this stuff uh, uh, actually subscribed to me uh, as as from Mitch. I was like, what? I was pretty crazy. I thought that was pretty awesome. So look at this. We find this uh, vulture just camping out on our base, and you know it's always good, I think, to leave like a vampire or those um, the wolverines right near the wall, so you can kind of see that. Um, it's kind of dumb of you to just kind of like send all your vultures right there, but I decided to say, you know, hey, what's going on, buddy? And uh, you know, I was kind of happy that we got to get rid of those vultures because honestly, the vultures is, is the is the biggest weakness in the super turtle because we there's really nothing you can do. Against six vultures and the Mac blast come down your base, so luckily we're able to stop this. Oh uh, my gosh! So yeah, I got pretty lucky there. I'm surprised it didn't uh, cryo bomb me, but it's okay. So yeah, that was that. Um, so here's another part where I'm like, hey, I want to get some stars, you know, try and get my stars back, and then we see an elephant. Yes, an that? elephant. They're trying to do the same shit we're doing. Okay, listen. You do ever, you do not ever counter a super turtle with a super turtle. That is just not. That is against the rules, good sirs. All right, he does never do that. All right. I don't know what it's like, and you know, you know, in, in Italy, because these guys are from Italy, and I'm actually Italian, so I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, I thought that was hilarious how they're actually trying to set up the same thing. They obviously didn't know how to do it, and you, never, you honestly never want to set up that elephant Vulcan. I think when there's a chieftain. Just simply because they, it, the cheat to pretty much screws it up. Um, you know, he could just simply pull you closer and closer to your base. It's kind of funny, actually, when that happens. So, yeah, I'm just rebuilding all my engineers because I lost them in that Mac blast. But, um, yeah. Uh, I'll try not to talk while there's, like, a lot of shit going down because I like hearing the explosions and shit. But, yeah, somehow... They actually broke through the Vulcans, like those vehicles back there. I don't Engineer know how the hell ready. they did that, but... Engineer ready. <laughs> Engineer ready. So, yeah, right now we're just uh, fighting this little minor rush off. And look at this. The Vulcan can actually shoot at pelicans that are flying over units. So you never want to fly a pelican over a Vulcan because they will shoot in the air. It's kind of cool to actually see the Cobras aim up in the air. Uh, you know, you don't usually see that. It's pretty cool. And if they could aim up in the air, then oh my god. And I don't know if this is true or not, but someone told me you could put a cobra on top of the buildings, and they will actually shoot at any air that comes across. I uh, don't know if that's true. Maybe I'll test that, and uh, maybe I'll upload a video of that. Because that would be pretty sick, having a freaking Vulcan on top of the buildings. That would be, like, retardedly cool. You don't even need anti-air. Um... Yeah, and here's another pointer for someone that's fighting a super turtle. 
don't ever send one unit at a time. I mean, look at this. You're just giving us stars by doing that. And especially for a chieftain, don't even drop the disruption bomb because honestly, the disruption bomb hurts you the most. Since you can't Mac Blast or Cryo, you're just going to have to sit there and let me uh, hammer you down. So, you know, you never want to do that. You never want to send a shitload of ODSTs. Only because it's like you're just going to give the other people more stars. And you never want to attack the Covenant base either. I would always recommend attacking the UNSC base. If you're facing a Super Hero, just send everything you got at a UNSC base. Because I'm telling you, a Covenant base is not going to go down easily. Just because it has less health, I guarantee you engineers are close by. So you're going to have to worry about engineers healing. And by the time you try and kill those engineers, my chieftain's going to kill you. So it's but you're better off just going for the, the UNSC base. So here's a part in the super turtle where I almost lost my two star or one star chieftain and it's, I decide oh I'm gonna go take this cobra and then the game decides to fuck me and this is how um or maybe it's not this one it's not this one okay I'm sorry spoiler alert but um yeah right now I'm just kinda uh trying to gain some stars killing some shit and I'm actually uh, surprised that the Chieftain alone can do this much damage. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, there's a part coming up where my Chieftain literally takes down their entire army with only support of vampires and engineers. And that's kind of sad. If a Chieftain... Well, he wasn't even three stars. Uh, yeah, a two-star Chieftain comes at your shit and just kills your entire army. kind of reflects on how good you are. I'm just kidding. The problem is they built all pretty much wolverines in air, which really doesn't count or anything. I mean, the wolf, you're better off just building tanks, I think, or something like that. Either tanks or all air, because wolverines aren't really going to do much. I mean, yes, they'll kill my vampires, but I mean, as you can see, I can just triple pump. It's actually uh, pumping about five at a time, so it's really not going to do much. If anything, you're just going to lose a bunch. So yeah, I decided to retreat for now because, you know, if you're super trailing someone... You kind of don't want to attack the whole time because they are just going to quit. And that's it's always sad. But here's what I'm talking about. Look at this shit. This freaking idiot chieftain pulls in a cobra. And now the cobra is on top of the chieftain and the chieftain can't move. I hate when this happens. Seriously, this happens to me all the time. God, I, I think I almost have the retarded chieftain. Um, because seriously, he's just an idiot. I mean, fortunately those engineers are there to help. And that disruption bomb kind of helps me too. But... You know, I just, oh, I don't know, I hate that. Because you really can't do anything. You can't kill the Cobra. I mean, you can, but, I mean, it's tough. And then, I don't know. You basically just have to wait till the destruction bomb goes away. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to catch this shot, and I'm sorry. It probably would have been a lot epic, but a lot more epic. The guy drops a quad mac right on top of my cheek, and as he's about to die, and then I somehow uh, avoid it. I was has, I was wondering whether or not I should even put this in the video, simply because it, I just missed it. it um, I do manage to escape. I just didn't get to see the Mac class come down. But um, yeah, I, yeah, I may add it. Who knows? It's really not that exciting. But yeah, right now I'm just mashing like crazy. I'm mashing like a 12 year old masturbating right now for the first time, and I'm finally. It, it's it's such a satisfying feeling to see that thing light up. You have no idea. It looks kind of it sounds kind of nerdy and stupid, but when you when you see that leader recall thing turn from red to light, you just get there's a little feeling in your heart that just lights up, and you're like, oh, I get to live another day. <laughs> it's kind of just I don't know. I'm sorry, I make lame jokes. I can't help it. Um, so yeah, that was my chieftain <laughs> barely escaping. I mean, I I was I didn't I couldn't stand to lose another chieftain. Um, I actually built five chieftains, five chieftains this whole game, and each one got to two to three stars, and they died. But, you know, that's just because of my impatience. Uh, definitely don't recommend being impatient. Alright, so here's the epic uh, part in the Super Turtle. And, um, sorry if this is all commentary. You know, I, you know, I like to talk sometimes, you know, you know. So then we see this, like, goofy army, and the, you can see it's all glitched. Like, the armies aren't together, they're just, like, health bars and shit. And we figured that they're just probably trying to clear some room for their army to build other things. Uh, I didn't put it in the video, but later we do that glitch where you can click on their base and see what buildings they have, kind of. And yeah, they pretty much all switch to air, which is good. But don't worry, we won't lose to it. So then they decide to do the, qua the quad mac, which doesn't really make sense to me. 
simply because they froze the Vulcan, but I, I don't know what their strategy here was. I guess they wanted to, like, freeze the Vulcan and then have the Wolverines take out the engineers and then to bring in tanks, which they have in the back there, which is kind of smart, but, I mean, like, you should probably just go with something more straightforward. Somehow those things managed to break past the Vulcan, but they're not going to make it very far. That thing is a beast. I'm um, trying to heal that one almost dead cobra in there, but I can't click on it. But yeah, it, the heal, we only lose one one cobra out of this whole attack, so it's kind of sad. And, and you know, if you're playing as a Coven as a Super Joe, you'll notice that you probably are going to lose a lot more units than your units he does. Simply because the Vulcan has so much protection, and you know... Usually, you know, C units don't die as much as Covenant units do. See, right now, as you can see, the Vulcan just tears apart everything. One shot, one kill, every vehicle. It's crazy. I, th I thought that was pretty cool. And then now, uh, I decided to just go back and get some more stars. And like I said, you don't want to do that. And I decided to build my army. And I go over there and attack. Um, I can't remember if I edited this out. I probably should have because it's pretty much over. I mean, there's really nothing they can do. I hope I did edit this out. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I edit everything out all the time. I'm not really, I'm not really patient guy, as you can tell. I don't like, I don't have patience for editing. I don't know how people like us from Mitch can sit down and edit their like three hour super turtle. That would kill myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's probably why he is very popular. But anyway, I need to stop riding his dick. So, yes, this is uh, just a little minor attack. And like I said, I think I just left this in here to say that, you know, you shouldn't go for the Covenant base because it's not going to do anything. Like, all those ODs too could be doing some serious damage to the UNSC base. You know, because, like, if you think about it, what does the Covenant really have that is a threat? Like, what building could you knock out that would threaten their, you know, n there's really nothing. You know, you what well, you take out a summit, you build another one. I have plenty of them. You build, take out a bluster house, dude. There's so much money. If you're really smart, you're gonna go to the UNSC base and take out the advanced reactors. Because if you can somehow take out the advanced reactors and at the same time attack the cobras and attack any kind of three uh, tech units, then it's gonna take us a while to kind of do that and then keep dropping ODSC to kind of keep down the reactor. That'd be a great idea, but unfortunately. They just really wanted to kill me. I don't understand it. Um, you know, it's okay though. I understand. I mean. Anyway, so yeah, hopefully, if you're ever getting super turtled, and if you're ever getting super turtled, I would actually think that's kind of funny because, you know, you usually never get super turtled. Everyone's usually the one doing the super turtle one, but yeah, the first thing I would do is just go straight air. If you see the super turtle, just do all air. It's pretty much the win 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 situation there. Um, but yeah, uh, um, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I, I suck at editing, leave me alone. Okay, so this part coming up is freaking beastly, are you ready for this shit? It was worth the wait. Okay, so right now, my partner, uh, Marco, or whatever, he, just, he said he had to go do something, and I was like, you know, I'm impatient, I mean, it's only been about 10 minutes, but you know, I get impatient quickly. So I decided to see what they're doing over there, and I'm like, hey, you know what, I got two stars. And then I'm like, you know what, I might as well get three stars. And I pull that a little closer, so the Vulcan come. And, and now what you're about to see right now is pretty epic, I'm going to let this play. I'm going to take out their whole army with just my cheap thing. Alright, bye-bye.
all units. What do you want? All units. All right, I'm back. So, um, as you can see, I took out—I didn't take out every single unit they had, but I took out the big chunk of their army. And the only reason why I decided to retreat is simply because I got my three stars and I wouldn't stop being so damn impatient. And I had a feeling that they were going to resign if I took them out, because as you can see, there was really no threat and there was really no reason for me to retreat. But so then my partner gets back and he—I told him about what happened. He was like, "Wow, we—we we were actually considering just playing this whole game. Uh, like he was going to go to school, I guess." He lives somewhere else uh, in the world. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Okay. Damn. Um, but yeah, he was going to go somewhere else. And I thought we were just going to sit here for three hours and I'd have to protect him. But I was like, I can't do that shit. So anyway, um, yeah, this is probably going to be the end of part two. Um, I hope you guys stick around for part three. Uh, I can't remember what happens, but there's I'm sure you're sure there's probably something epic in there. If I was playing, there's probably something epic in there. I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, goodbye.